Hi, welcome to Sports Ripple. My name is Kim Betcher, and I am so excited to um, kind of do this and greet you today. Um, as they say, uh, just got to hit record, and I'm so excited to be doing that um, on the relaunch of the Sports Ripple podcast. Um, I'm calling it a relaunch just simply because it's been a while since I've made any posts, um, and I really want to have a chance to kind of, I have some topics I want to kind of get going on. And um, for those of you that don't know, uh, Sports Ripple is, the idea came about a few years ago and just a way to kind of elevate uh, people, women and moms and aunts and maybe uncles and dads and people who are lifting up women's sports and participating and how they're using their participation in sports. Um, they maybe weren't the star athlete, um, but they're using their participation in sports in high school um, or college to um, either raise kids or coach or teach or um, building community and things like that. And so I just wanted to find ways to elevate those stories. And so I'll be doing some interviews as we go. Um, obviously not in this one, um, but I will continue to do some things um, as we get going and uh, kind of get those interviews back. There are some interviews on my uh, sportsripple.com in the archived area, um, some interviews I did. and um, But there's, other, just like I said, there's other, lots of other topics. And I figured, what better time to be relaunching this uh, in the midst of the start of the Women's World Cup? Um, as I'm recording this, um, Canada is getting ready to play tonight. Um, and then the U.S. women take on their first match Friday night. Um, so this will go up sometime after that. But uh, soccer was the first team sport that I really participated in and felt a connection to and so um, and so I did uh, want to make sure that you know I figured the timing was good. Um, I'll also be doing some uh, book reviews and things. I have a lot of sports books I read over the years and um, and have some interest in those and so I'll probably doing some book little book reviews and things like that. The next um, podcast I'll launch or I'll, I'll release is uh, going to be about um, a book review that I did about a um, basketball, women's basketball, basketball musing or hoops, hoops muse, muses it's called um, and it's it's about the history of um, mostly cultural history of mostly women's um, hoops. And so I'm so excited for that. But I'm um, talking about soccer. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk. I'm not the person that's going to be in the space of giving. Um, I don't analyze necessarily. There's lots of people out there on the internet that do a wonderful job of that. There's some really great TikTok accounts um, that I'll try to um, track down and uh, get labeled or get tagged how um, when this video gets released but there's a lot of accounts out there and there's some really great media obviously ESPNW is fantastic um, for that and then on her turf is another one and uh, there's just a lot of stuff out there that um, are really great coverage of women's sports in general and um, and a lot of good reporting on women's sports and so I'm just looking at it from the fan perspective and from somebody who's raising kids who um, participate in soccer and um, being part of a community and um, how much impact seeing the women's world World Cup um, and seeing the elevation of the game uh, for women's sports in general is uh, is been just fin fantastic and so and it doesn't stop and start with, with soccer obviously but um, but yeah so um, so I just again just want to talk about the um, just elevating that um, there's a lot of ads uh, that was really cool I uh, the reason that I decided to record this actually was the ad and I'm gonna um, I am I am totally blanking on the name right now but there was a um, another country um, that did an ad out there that was supporting their team and they had it in like you know like um, I want to call it like uh, imaging and stuff and like I want, I'm going to call it Photoshop for lack of a better um, better thing but uh, but they did some editing of a video where they had it look like it was the men's team and things like that and the reality was it was actually the women's team and how much excitement and stuff and how much how exciting they are when they play the game and so that was really cool um, to see that but just the up, the up in the game and the advertising has been fantastic uh, the I mean last night I can speak to this um, because it did happen but um, the other day or this morning maybe it was even is that New Zealand um, won their first they were host country and they won their first ever game and to a record crowd um, in their stadium and the buzz um, even at the location that I work um, and talking about that and I know that people know that I do I am interested in sports but it was just really cool cool to listen to people like start to start to chatter about the Women's World Cup and the fact that I'm in a small town and the um, the USA team hasn't even played yet and so uh, so again that's uh, pretty cool. One of the things that I, I, I did want to talk about again 
um, just because, or just talk about it is because, and I've spoken about it before, but is that, you know, the thing is about sports and, and, you know, people play, see people playing soccer at this really high level and it takes a lot of work to get there and a lot of time and things like that, but you have to start somewhere. I kind of like, I can speak to the whole, you know, podcast thing. I've been uh, delaying hitting record for a long time, but you just have to hit record and it's fine. Um, and then get it uploaded. But anyway, so I just, I wanted to speak to that just briefly is that you have to start somewhere. And there are a lot of, you don't have to automatically go to, um, you know, a high level club um, to have an interest in soccer. Start with a soccer ball in the backyard. If you don't have a soccer ball, start with a kickball. And maybe it's if your kids are toddlers and they seem like they're interested in doing stuff, maybe start with a balloon that they're kicking around. Um, but start somewhere. Most communities have some really great recreational programs. Um, and whether it's a uh, recreational program that you um, you know that you sign up for with uh, you know with maybe a park and rec parks and rec type department or a, um, like a YMCA or like a community center like where I work um, you know there's lots of opportunities to just literally just play and so I encourage you to seek those out if you have an interest if you have kids um, that are interested in playing um, a sport um, of any kind but especially soccer um, and the the other cool thing is literally to play. Uh, just for fun even you just need a ball and so you know if there's not an opportunity and you're not sure and grab some of your kids as friends and go to the park and go find an open field and put a ball on the ground and see what the kids can do so, because I guarantee you um, they're learning a lot of things in fight and stuff and so um, just just even just starting to play is really fantastic um, if you want to support women's sports and you want to support specific and you have an opportunity and you kind of maybe you're a teacher you have a you know an interest in coaching um, you know look at different ways you can coach um, I know that there's a very 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 strong need for referees um, in kind of across um, the spectrum of sports and activities um, but that's another way you can get involved in supporting uh, women's sports especially soccer and things like that has become a, a referee and it doesn't again it's a team sport um, like I said before soccer was the first kind of team introduction that I had um, and I talk about that briefly in a, one of the archive videos but um, I'll, and I'll talk about it some more another time but you know I had, was on I was the only girl on an all-boys soccer team probably about 40 years ago in a medium-sized town I would call it and the 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 male coach the dad made such a positive impact on me because I was included um, in it and so it doesn't have to be gender specific um, it doesn't, it can be anybody. Just grab kids um, and go find a field and play. Like I said, um, you can go, you have an opportunity to go. Um, a lot of places have some kind of community rec programs. And maybe you don't have soccer at your high school, um, but there are kids that just want to play. It's a great way to run around. It's a great physical fitness activity. If you're looking at ways to put kids down, put the, put the screen time down, you know, or put the phones down and get some screen time, um, you know, playing, uh, just playing a game of soccer is a really great way great way to do that so um, anyway um, so that's another thing um, so let's let's circle back I just want to circle back to the <laughs> Women's World Cup um, and again I you know I don't know this isn't going to be super long pot first kind of relaunch podcast but I was just so excited um, to kind of talk about the hype and stuff and like I said that that video just in the in the sense the pre the subsequent commercials after that have just been really fun um, to watch and you can find it um, you can follow the US national team on their um, you know on their social media pages if you're one interest in, you want you're interested and you want to hear kind of directly from uh, the US women's team uh, there's lots of ways to do that uh, there's also a, a professional soccer league um, that is doing some great content um, and women's sports in general and soccer specifically um, they're doing some nice shout outs to um, some of the players and things like that but so talking about the women's team like how do you think they're gonna do what's your prediction do you have a prediction for their obviously I'm I'm going for Team USA the whole way um, I do think that it's gonna they're gonna it's it is a competitive year um, for them this year but I do think because the the women's games um, around the world are elevated um, and so that's you know I think that that's gonna be um, something pretty cool so um, so yeah so what's your favorite um, and then also uh, you know as you again as you continue to kind of move forward um, with supporting women's sports um, you know yes it can be done by watching social media but you know go go find a high school you know high school game somewhere in your area the for in Minnesota Minnesota where I'm at um, uh, soccer sorry uh, soccer for women starts or for the high school team does start in the fall it's a fall sport uh, for North Dakota which is not too far from us it's, it's a spring sport so there's opportunities to go watch a game um, I encourage you to do that and support those girls and also boys out there you know it's it's important to support the kids um, out there I think that there's kind of a resurgence a little bit and there's a little gap in participation numbers but you know at the at the place that I work um, 
we're starting to see numbers kind of rebound again um, with people wanting to get out and participate. They're kind of sick of hopefully being in their houses and things like that and they want to participate. I am not advocating for over participation. Um, you know, we kind of, and you know, what our family did was uh, we just, we didn't, our kids were three sport athletes in high school, but uh, but we didn't over participate um, because there is, um, you know, you don't want to over commit either, but um, there is going to be some overlap. It's just the nature of um, being in sports. And if you're involved and your kids are interested, but that doesn't mean that you have to be over participating in, in lots of things. But I do, I do strongly encourage you to try. Um, if your kids are out there and um, they've been talking about something, they maybe want to try baseball. It doesn't, ha again, it doesn't have to be soccer. Um, if they want to pick up a basketball, maybe try swimming. Um, if they want to participate in band, um, they want to be in an activity. I encourage you um, to help them find a way just to try it. Um, you know, there's a lot of opportunity. It does not, again, this is speaking from somebody who is a, um, I golf once a year and I think that I would like to be better golfer, but I have to golf more than once a year. And, um, and I would love to be more competitive, but I also recognize that I, I'm not doing it frequently enough, but I do have an opportunity just to go play. And so, um, if you're out there and you're, um, you know, looking for opportunities, looking for things to do, um, again, just go pick up a ball and, um, and go play. So, or go play with your kids. All right, that's enough of um, that. But I just, like I said, I just wanted to talk about the excitement. I will, um, like I said, when I get the, um, kind of get the information out or once I get this posting, I'll try to um, mention a few other creators that are out there. I am not a soccer content high heavy creator, but um, I am a soccer mom, I guess you could say, and I'm a parent and um, I'm a former player and I really love this time of year right now. Um, and I love this, this time of the cycle of the Women's World Cup. I mean, seriously. We have the Women's World Cup going on at the same time the WNBA is going on. I mean, how cool is that? So uh, so anyway, so thanks for joining me again on Sports Ripple Podcast. Um, you can check out my website at sportsripple.com for other, um, some content, some old archive content. I'm going to start some blogging from there too, so just come, some information. Um, and then next time I record, well, next time I hit that, that record button, uh, it's going to be to talk, kind of talk a little bit more about the, um, the WNBA and, um, like I said, that women's hoops, um, you know, basketball, uh, is a great, fantastic sport and, uh, there's some really cool content out there as well. So I encourage you to go check it out. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Thanks for jumping on my podcast. Like I said, it's not gonna be super long, uh, just kind of getting back into it. Um, but I'm so excited that I hit record. Thanks for, thanks for those content creators out there that say just hit record, um, because that's what I chose to do today. And so, um, so I'm excited to be back and, um, I'm looking forward to some interviews, um, coming up and, uh, we'll be hitting the ground running. Uh, there's lots of, lots of, lots of great things and lots of great things happening. Um, and lots of people using their sports knowledge to kind of, uh, ripple throughout, um, and helping to impact other people's lives in a positive, a positive way. Um, so I encourage you if you have a chance to, um, participate as well. So thanks for joining me and, uh, we'll see you or hear you, hear me again next time.